Here's another one. Wow. So if you bring two different Urkins, or actually, I guess, if you get both of these, that's plus 40% initiative when they're in army form and plus four movement, provided they stack and they must. Let's get good. Welcome back to Endless Legend Symbiosis. I am the Gamer Under Development, or good for short, and we are going to pick up right where we left off. But before we did, I wanted to show you guys this in case you haven't seen it, because when I jumped into the game, I noticed that they had added the Mykara uh, intro main menu screen, whatever. How cool is that, guys? I love it. You see the little guys in the background creeping up. They leaving. They leaving our tunnels. They going. Those are our force projection units. They going. They going to land at the enemy home and whoop that butt. Okay, we're going to jump back in now, though. I will probably cut the little loading section here out so you guys don't have to wait through that. But in the meantime, feel free to enjoy this pretty art. All right, we have finished loading. We are back in the game now, and let's see what is going on. What's go What's Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. I had coffee this morning, and it just bubbled up a little bit. My bad. I apologize if I have offended anybody's sensibilities. Okay, so... We want to get down here and go after Chaka now. He's got five units in there. We need more than that. We want to sort of overwhelm him with power. I'm going to send these guys over here. We're going to use our teleporter to send them down because I think we have one relatively close. We do right here. And I'm going to back them up with these units as well. Uh, the Ipatanes have not healed, so we are going to actually garrison them in the city because they will take up less resources. Uh, thank you, whoever pointed that out in the comments. I'm so sorry that I don't have your name ready offhand. Uh, much, much appreciated for the tip. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. We do need to assimilate a minor faction, and we have been waiting to get the Degreshi for that, which will be done in three turns. Uh, we did just unlock Pillage, which also gives us the Camouflage Accessory, which is actually what I was after. Reason being, if we put the Camouflage Accessory on, like, some of these weaker Ipotain units that we put no gear on, we can use them to scout, and they won't really be at risk of anyone going after them, which is really nice. Uh, let's double check our hero's equipment now. He is tier 2 on everything, which is great. Uh, he is real hurt, though. Real, real hurt. So, we may want to... Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know what we want to do specifically. I'm gonna go ahead and make another tank and another spank, because one of the things I know I want to do... We're working on alchemical armor right now. Do we have anything cute after that, though? It doesn't look like it. So, okay, once we get alchemical armor, I want to go for this. Get us some more military slots so that we can have two more units. Uh, but this will be fine. I really just want this guy to kind of heal up before we send him over there. Because otherwise he's just going to get wrecked early and not help out that much when we fight the Urken. What I'm afraid of though is that every so often these guys will move. And also something I wanted to do that we didn't do last time that we should have is we can look at the Urken training now. So we're going to do that real quick because I want you guys to see what kinds of bonuses these provide. So this is Chaka right here. This is the only one currently revealed. So if we feed him 15 Transvine, while he's rooted in a region, all neighboring regions produce plus 50% science, and all enemy neighboring regions produce negative 25% science. That's what I mean by they're really, really powerful for boosting neighboring regions or penalizing neighboring regions. So they have both an offensive and defensive use just by being in the regions. That doesn't count being able to uproot them as an army and take them places. Uh, okay. Monstrous Watchtower. Urkins under your control have plus five vision range. Useful. Uh, while Urkins is in army form, allied units in the same region have plus 20% initiative. Allied units in the same region have two movement. That's really strong. They move faster. They hit faster. That's actually really, really good. And this is why I'm talking about how, like, cool the Urkins are and how much of a game changer they can be. Now, here's where it gets interesting. These abilities right here, this is a Venn diagram, are the ones that you get just for having Chaka. In order to get this one, we are required to have both Chaka and Kazar, who is over here. And when we do, we will be able to get stuff like this. The Urkins under your control spawn lice 50% faster. Those are the little units I was saying you can use to find the Urkins if you can't see them. Uh, for this one, Urkins gain the Tremors army action, but that requires you to have all three Urkins. And it gives them all an army action called Tremors that they can use on the main map. I actually haven't played with that much, but hopefully we'll get to do that this time. Uh, then there's Endurance training over here for having Kazar and Fakir, which will remove penalties on Urkin due to winter. That's great. 
Wall Urken is rooted. This is amazing right here, guys. Wall and Urken is rooted to a region. Uh, allied cities in neighboring regions produce plus 50 approval. Whew. That is huge, guys. That is a ton, a ton of approval. Better yet, enemy cities in that region get minus 50 approval. How cool is that? Uh, okay, and then they have all their own abilities down here. Dust Leecher, which does the increase to dust. Uh, here's another one. Wow. So if you bring two different Urkins, or actually, I guess, if you get both of these, that's plus 40% initiative when they're in army form and plus four movement, provided they stack, and they must, because they are two separate abilities. And now I'm like, do they have another ability like that? Uh, they do not, but they have this one, which is Wall Urken is an army form. Allied units in the same region have plus 20% defense and plus 20% life regen, which is incredible because we figured out that if we get 150 fungal gross, which is actually fairly reachable, then we will have 20% life regen natively. We'll also get 20% from that, which is 40% life regen. That's insane, guys. So yeah, the Urkins are a huge part of the Mykara gameplay, and that's why we need to get over there and really get in in here and take him out. Uh, we're not gonna do it with our hero hurt though, and I wonder if we go in here, if I can like fast heal the hero maybe? No. No. Can't really restore him, he's not disabled. Okay, I was hoping maybe we could fast heal the hero, but that doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. So what I'm gonna do is just leave them there. I'm not garrisoning them because we're actually gonna wanna build some units here. And in order to do that, we have to have garrison slots open. We could, however, I'm gonna drop that guy and see if we can retrofit one of these guys. Oh no, we just retrofitted him to a scout, I think. Whoops, that was not what we wanted to do. Okay, that's okay. I was hoping it would maybe allow us to change the type of unit that he was, but it did not do that. What I am going to do, though, is leave him with a tier 1 weapon and come in here and grab this camouflage utility. So that's going to cost us a little bit of dust to make camouflage units, so we're going to wait to do that. But it will still be really, really useful just for the scouting. And what we'll do is we'll basically put camouflage on a unit and then send him over here to find all these things. Speaking of which, look at these ruins we've discovered through quests. We should fungal growth one of these so we can use them as a teleport point, or both of them, honestly. Uh, our city is growing in one turn no matter what, pretty much anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and fungal growth that and fungal growth that. And we'll go back here and make sure we're still growing. We would be growing in two turns now. So if I move that over... Eh, there. Nothing really changed by doing that. It's like, eh, we're fine. Uh, so I'm gonna put another spank back in queue. That will all be done within the next turn. So we're actually reaching the point where we're running out of the ability to produce things. Dang, we need to maybe move some guys out of production at this point. Because we're producing so quickly now that it's not even... There we go. Now we'll have two turns for something. So we could do that to get alchemical armor in two. We could also just get a ton of dust, or we could stock up a ton of influence. How far out are we from an empire plan is in two turns is our next empire plan. What oh uh, Okay, so we'll do that. We'll stack everybody there. We're still a little bit shy. I might go into the market and see if we do not have access, access to luxury resources yet. Now would be a really good time for us to have die, but we don't have access to it yet, so we're not going to mess with it. And there are the Urken lice that I was talking about. In fact, we should bring these guys over here and fight them. Uh, they'll take some damage fighting these guys, but if we kill them, we'll get a reasonable amount of experience and we will be more geared to come after Chaka. And since we're at a point where we're just gonna end up pumping out units here anyway, it's kind of like a throwing away units for experience thing, and I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, let's end our turn right now and see what happens. Oh, I'm being a spaz. I forgot. Okay, so I'm gonna announce this to you guys too because I did this on the ES2 video, but maybe you didn't watch the ES2 video. Maybe I shouldn't assume that just because you watch this, you're gonna watch that. So what I'm gonna say is nope, not gonna build a tank. Production is blocked, and I'm not sure why. Oh, it tried to build the second tank. <laughs> okay, so apparently winter came, and our production went up. Don't know how exactly that happened, but I will absolutely accept that. Uh, okay, that's a fortification bonus. Don't really need that. Could get more food, but we really don't need that. I'd rather work our way towards this and potentially security. This being a better thing. Yeah, we're gonna work our way towards the, the bonuses there. Okay, so that is in progress. Pop has grown to 12. 
and a level for our combat guy too. That's nice because it'll move, uh, ignore terrain movement penalties, but we really want to get up to that plus 10% damage on both. Uh, and I believe that the Urkins are actually weaker during the winter, so that may work out in our favor. I'm going to kill these Ninja here. Bye-bye, Ninja. What naya? They dead. They dead, y'all. Okay, let's get the Urkins next. Come on. Y'all lice want to go, right? Y'all lice want to go? Yeah, our tank took a little bit of damage there, and one of our reinforcement Ipatanes took damage, but that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and and was the tank that took damage the yeah, no it wasn't the one in here I thought it was the one in here my bad Okay, so we're gonna grab the tank and the spank and we'll go ahead and make them a new army uh, The Ipatanes, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with like I could retrofit one of them for a dust cost But that's not actually super useful uh, Okay, that's level one. That's level one the Museum of Origa is level 2 now. I'm gonna go right here, because that'll actually make our Industrial Megapole level 2, which is really useful. Although right now, it's just gonna mean more production that we can't use, so I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of a tough, uh, tough pill to swallow, but we essentially have so much production at this point that we can't produce, an, or I, I mean, we don't have enough things to produce. Uh, so Alchemical Armor is going to finish in three turns, and that will actually give us something to buy for our heroes, but not produce in queue. I'm actually not going to go for mer uh, Meritocratic Promotion first, because we really need to be able to build something right now. Because our queue is just going to kind of sit and be useless until we can. Uh, so what I'm going to go after is... Potentially that. That additional science will help us get to new techs faster. We don't really need to increase our production at this point because we have so much production that we're literally unable to build anything because we're running out of things to build. So yeah, I'm going to get that for right now and I will leave the rest of these probably alone. Actually, we'll pick that up too and then we'll get Meritocratic pr uh, Promotion, which will give us that additional army size. We could get this right here, but we don't have an Urken yet, so I'm going to wait. Allows you to garrison units in tamed Urkins you control. That's incredibly useful, guys. It essentially means that you can use the Urkins to transport troops. Uh, there is nothing at all that is bad about that. For these guys, what I really want to do is bring them down here and make sure that they're at least close enough to maybe reinforce this unit when they fight these Urken lice. Then, if a couple units from this die, we'll just combine the two, and we can use this teleporter to jump them down here and go after Chaka. I really, really want to get Chaka this, uh, this, this video, basically. Anyways, back to what I was telling you guys before. This Saturday, that is tomorrow, at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be doing a four-hour endless stream. I'm not sure which game we'll play, I'm not sure if we'll play both, I don't know what's gonna happen with that, but what I do know is that our dear dear beloved Amplitude has been kind enough to provide me with some keys to give out to you guys if you decide you want to come hang out with the community and participate. So you should absolutely be there. I will put the link to my Twitch channel, that Twitch channel down in the, the, just that. I cannot word for some reason. I'm just too excited, I guess. I'm sorry, guys. I will put the link to my Twitch channel down in the description so that y'all can join us there tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. Of course, if you can't make it, don't worry. We still love you. We're, we're not going to be upset with you at all. Everybody has lives. Everybody gets busy. It's all good. Uh, let's grab the Delvers here. We want to assimilate them. That'll also complete our quest. And now we have to select things for our Empire Laws. We don't have as much as we had last time, so we're not in as great of a position as we formerly were, but we can still get happiness and building cost reduction, but we don't need that. So we'll get the science there. We'll also get unit cost... No, we don't need unit cost reduction either. Let's get this. Okay, so we're going to get plus three dust. We're going to get plus 25 happiness on cities. Uh, if we can, we'll take unit production, but we don't need it. Sure, there we go. Plus 20 science, plus 3 dust, plus 20 unit cost reduction, and plus 25 happiness on cities. That is actually perfect. Hey, and look at that. Empire approval is still fervent, which is always good. And now we're getting plus 5% dust per pacified and rebuilt Delver's Village. There is another Delver's Village in there that we can pacify, but we just haven't gotten to it yet. Whoa, did the Urken lice just take to the water? Okay then. Bye, Felicia. Have a nice day. Uh, we're going to use our fast travel here to jump down there. 
We'll do the same thing with this unit so we have some backup when we go after Chaka. Jump, friends, jump. Uh, in fact, oh, we don't have enough action points to attack after that, sadly, because it does consume all your movement points. Uh, and I think that's going to be it, except for coming over here and making sure we have things in queue that we want. This one, I'm going to go ahead and retrofit up. Good job, buddy. Now we're going to make him into a new army, and since he is all camouflaged and cannot be seen, we're going to jump him over to this. Uh, and that will... Uh-oh. Does that affect the whole army, the camouflage thing, or just the one guy? I think it's not working because we accidentally brought this guy with us. Uh, that's okay. We'll pull him out of the army then. Not enough movement. We'll have to do it next turn. Anyways, we will have an invisible scout over here, though, to be able to search ruins and do things like that. Excellent. This is progress forward. We still haven't discovered anyone to fight with yet. Like, that would be nice. We kind of want to brawl with somebody. Where you at, though? We're going to brawl with this guy. We're going to brawl with Chaka very soon. Uh, we'll reactivate our emeralds because we can. We assimilated the minor faction. We got 10 Quicksilver for that. My new existence. Oh, okay. I already read that part. Outcome. Neither the local population nor their artifacts give any clue as to whether any other of my kinsmen survived the mage's assault. Perhaps they are afraid and are good liars, but any inquiry regarding the urkin led massacre is met with vacant eyes and curt shakes of the head. It is strange. Girl, I don't think you realize how long you've been under there. Okay, so, a little coffee to keep me going. I feel myself, my identity, slipping deeper into the Mykara's collective consciousness. It is a soothing, liberating, mind-expanding feeling as my attention expands across the world and deeper into the past. But it is also a betrayal. I swore I would have vengeance, and I will not break that promise. I must not forget. As the Mykara has changed me, so I have changed the Mykara. Out of my form, perhaps out of my very cells, it grows workers, builders, soldiers. Some will be my instruments for my purposes. I will send an army back to our... The wording there confused me. I will send an army back to our devastated home and find the mage's trail. The sight of our old vault and the massacre is hazy to me, but I must find it. During my slumber, the Mykara moved me, and the geography of the world feels unfamiliar. It is hardly surprising that a vaulter struggles to recognize the landscape. We've always been happier in the subterranean realm. More attuned to the vagaries of stone, the smell of the depths, and the shades of darkness that you learn from living underground. Still, I have some ideas, and we will find the place. And if we are lucky, maybe we might even surprise a few ardent mages who have lingered too long. I love the fact that both this and the Penumbra DLC for ES2 are telling stories of heroes that have fallen into this sort of collective consciousness. The two collective consciousnesses are slightly different, but these stories of what happens when you integrate an individualist into a collective consciousness are actually kind of cool. Uh, search the three ruins located in Nelyria, Sulet, and Madinov to pick up the mage's trail. Well, that'll be a lot easier now that we have our camouflage guy. Okay, speaking of which, let's go sort out this problem. You, sir, need to separate. Are you still not camouflage? Why you no camouflage? Did I misread how camouflage works? That's probably what happened. I probably misread how camouflage works. Do to do, do camouflage. Can become invisible on forests. Oh, okay, that's that's the reason why we're not invisible, because I'm a spaz. Uh, do to do, do, you move over here. Get into that forest. Get into that forest. Nobody needs to know you here. I can't tell if they're camouflaged there, although that may technically... No, that is a forest. I'm going to assume that it worked. <laughs> That's the road I'm going to go down. I'm going to assume that it worked, and I'm going to keep moving these guys forward. Uh, that way we can search that ruin, which is nice. There's a ruin over here we could potentially search. And I'm going to check the food production in our city, because if we're not making people fast enough... Uh, let's go into science fully. How much science do we need to get it in one turn? Really? Is it just like one? Yeah, it's one person to get our science in one turn. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to worry about production here because we have a ton of production. So basically, we can either go for dust or we can go for influence right here. And I'm going to go for dust. Although, I suppose we could go for food and just mass grow. Yeah, if we go for food, we can get a pop in one turn. How many do we have to dedicate to get that, though? There. That's perfect. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and use the dust here, even though we could go influence, and that might actually help us be more prepared for our next empire plan. 
I have a water bottle like right in front of my screen and I can't see the the next unit button, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you guys are gonna come down here and we're gonna go after Chuck. Uh, oh, hey look, titanium. We will go ahead and grab that. I should check to see if that has bumped out our number of turns for growth. It has, if I add in maybe two more people. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Totally worth it to get another titanium source. Uh, you guys are gonna be ready to swing. I'm gonna move them over to... Okay, this is it, folks. We going after the Urkins. We probably should get a few more levels on him so that we can get the Urkin Hunter ability, but that's not happening right now. Yes, attack them. We could also tame him with luxury resources. He's only got two lice, though. Uh, this is actually a really good thing for us. I'm going to go ahead and go manual with this one. Mainly because if we position things correctly here, we can make it so Chaka basically never moves. Yes, you're going to go right here. And you're going to go right here. And the rest of you are going to stay right safely behind. Actually, you're going to go right there. The rest of you will stay right safely behind. The first thing we're going to do is kill off these lice and leave Chaka here, because all Chaka is going to be able to do is hit this guy, I believe. Uh, let me be sure about that, though. I'm going to move them out of the line, because I think he may have a, like, a line attack that hits everybody on the line. So we shall see, but that is my guess. And we also have these nice reinforcements coming in. We should actually move these guys over here and move... Well, no, we don't want them there because they could be in line for stuff. We want this guy to go right there, though. Because if we get a tank here, a tank here, and then our hero right here, literally none of them can hit our casters, which is what we want. Because the casters are the ones that bring the pain. Okay, that should work. Go, guys, you got this. I should have had everybody alpha the Urken Lice, but I didn't because I'm a spaz. So now they're going to attack Chaka instead, which is actually not a great thing for us right here because we need the Urken Lice to die. Yes, 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 get them. Excellent job, excellent job. That's what we wanted. Okay, so little slow down there. Nice defense from our tank who has just rooted Chaka, which doesn't matter that much because Chaka doesn't move anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pound down Chaka, though. We really, really should have been going after this guy right here, but our units have decided Chaka is a better option. Thankfully, the Urken Lice are going after our tank and not any of our squishies. If they'd gone after our squishies, we would be in a much worse situation here, but they didn't because they're not very intelligent, and we just reckon... Oh! We killed our own guy! I didn't know we could do that. Okay, so we've learned a thing. We do not want our units adjacent, like, in front of our tanks, because they can accidentally kill our guys, which is not very useful. Oh no, that was a sweep strike back. Okay, that was a sweep strike back. I can live with that then. Not as big of a thing as I thought. Okay. That scared me for a minute. I thought we whacked our own guys, and I was like, what even happened here? Uh, we should, without a doubt, survive this, which is funny, because you remember when we took this fight, it was like super slated against us. We should, without a doubt, survive it. We probably won't kill Chaka here, but we will get our hero back, and we will be able to create some more units and send them down here to finish Chaka off. The good thing is we've cleared all the Urken Lice. It takes him turns to spawn those, which means that he is now unprotected. I don't know if he actually even can move. I guess we'll see. I don't recall seeing the Urkens necessarily move. Yeah, see, they just shoot in a big line. Okay, so we lost a lot of units there, but they lost two lice and Chaka leveled up, which isn't that big of a deal. Okay, you guys are going to combine now. Oh, you can't. You don't have enough movement left. All right, that's fine. Uh, so down here we have a spank, a spank, a spank, and a general. We're going to come up here. We need another tank for them, and we could probably use an additional... Yeah. No, we just need a tank. We need a tank over there, and then we can start pumping out some additional units to make up the difference. One, two, three. And another tank. There. That's another army that's totally in queue right now. And you guys are going to... I suppose since you're already over here and you're basically old, outdated units anyway, we'll just have you search for stuff. Yes! See, this is what we were looking for. There's another glass steel extractor. We're going to get that. Uh, we're just not going to get it right this second. Okay, ending the turn. I really, really want that next pop over here so that we can then start doing stuff again. Because once we are done generating that pop, I'm going to switch everybody into something other than food and we'll go get all the other things we want. So the Burrow Street is done. We are working on the spank and the tank. Uh, or the tank is done. I think we're working on the spank units next. 
plus one extent of the ice shelf on Empire. It sounds really weird to say the spank units, by the way. The Festival of Dust. Revering Dust for the role it played in helping them survive long seasons underground, every year Delvers celebrate the fact with an annual festival by welcoming a contingent of Delvers into your capital and organizing Dust celebrations at this time. Delver relations can be further deepened. Garrison two Delver units in your capital city, then produce 97 Dust per turn for five turns, and you will receive the Band of Merriment. Uh, that's actually pretty good. How many units? Two Delvers units? That's easy. Okay, so, uh-oh, where's this happening? Oh, more Delvers. Awesome, that is really good, actually. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and retreat at no, you are not reinforcing, and yes, you are retreating. We're gonna retreat this unit because we were never intending to really fight with the Delvers anyway. That was never gonna be something that worked for us. Uh, these guys are just out here to scout and fail to find anything useful. And we're going to come over here. Our industrial megapole, by the way, is level 2 now, which is awesome. And we're going to move all of these guys probably over to this. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and build another burrow. The crazy thing about these guys is how quickly they build out burrows. Like, you guys can see it. We're just burning through them. They might as well not even exist at this point. Uh, I am also going to go in here to our governor hero, which is right here, and we're going to go ahead and give him some new accessories because we have access to the good governing accessories now. Uh, plus science on cities is a yes. Plus dust on cities is also a yes, potentially. We do not currently have the Hyperium to build that, though, which is sort of unfortunate, but whatever. We'll come back and we'll get that soon. For right now, we can still give him this, which is relatively useful, and we'll come back later and give him the book that gives additional dust. Okay, so we have more science coming in. That's something. Population has grown to 13. Surprise, surprise. And as soon as these units come out, in fact, I'm kind of tempted to do this. Yes. Yes. We're going to do that. As soon as these units come out, we can project them down. Actually, we already have the tank unit, so that's perfect. We can project him down here, and he will get called in. Ooh. I was going to have him get called in as a reinforcement, but if he can come down that far, I'm sure he can get to the, the actual army within the next turn. And we'll go ahead and combine that unit in. That'll give us three plus the hero, then the tank will come over here, and then we will finish off Chaka. And when we finish off Chaka, six turns left until he moves. Okay, that's how we tell that. Sorry for not having all this stuff like off the top of my head, guys, but it is all new content, so we're learning as we go. Uh, now that we're no longer focused on producing units, or not units, but population here, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and get that. We're also going to get that. And if we're really lucky, we'll get a dusty clip soon. There's some titanium. See, this is why I love these guys. Everybody else has to settle a region and then build an extractor, not us. We find the resources, we take the resources. That is how we work. Look, there's an Ali Skyfin. Uh, okay. And we are currently at, a, we're going to be at 23 fungal growths really soon. We have a bunch of other things we could fungal growth. Every one of these ruins could be fungal growth. I'm just sort of being picky about what we fungal growth right now. Uh, and actually, I'm going to move these guys over here and search this ruins while we wait to combine the tank into that unit. Hey, look at that. Search the ruins with the ray of dust within five turns. I'm going to do that because it takes four turns to get it and then we can just fast travel to it and do the quest because that's what's awesome about these guys. Uh, since we're doing a buyout, though, we should probably just buy out as many different things as we possibly can. Is that somebody is settled right there? Because that is an extractor built. Oh, that's the blue. The blue faction, which is the Ali'i, duh, because we just saw their unit. So we have discovered the Ali'i now, which is great because... oh. Hello. You're a thing we want to build a thing on. There is another enemy right there, the red. I don't know who that is yet. Uh, do I? No, I don't. I don't know who the red is yet, but we just got a foothold into their territory with that revealed ruin. See, this is the great thing about them and exploration. Every time you reveal a ruin for a quest, you actually end up revealing a teleportation connection. And that allows you to cross the waters without tech. It's just super, super cool. I absolutely love them for that. Uh, I'm going to put a couple people in here because otherwise we are going to actually lose population in one turn and I don't want that to happen. No, no, no. Not like that. Like that. 
so now we just we're we're dead even for the four turns that we're building stuff. We are not going to progress at all with population, which is OK. Do -ba -do. What do we have left? You guys are actually fine. You guys are totally fine. We're just going to leave you there. In fact, is there a there's a wait. There we go. OK, these guys, we're going to move them closer to this ruin that we want to search. And then there is this unit, which has already searched a ruin. And we're going to see if maybe we can snag that pearl with them. There's a pretty good chance these guys are just going to get out and out wrecked, though. Like, the Delvers are going to follow them and kill them. And we already know that's going to happen. Uh, not that big of a deal. Once we get Chaka, we're actually going to send him over to this region right here so that he can produce bonuses for Renar. And we're going to go grab this Delver's Village, and then we'll grab the Delver Villages in this region we found over here, which will give us four assimilated Delver Villages, at least to our knowledge. There could potentially be another Delver Village there, but I doubt it. Okay, ending the turn. Doobie doobie doo. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. We about to get that Chaka. And is this a Dust Eclipse? Is it a Dust Eclipse? Did we have the Dust Eclipse yet? Yes, yes, no. Okay. So technically, we are out of time for this episode, but I am not done yet. We are going to get Chaka this episode right now. Right now, we're going to do it, guys. Whoa, oh, wait. Fumble... What did that say? Fungal bloom something underway. Did it say destruction? Fungal bloom is being disposed. Oh, really now? They have a less. <laughs> they have Eslek Tarash because it is Endless Day. That's hilarious. Um, okay, so. Sure. Sure, y'all can destroy that fungal thing if you want. I'm just gonna put it there again as soon as you're done and then buy it out when a dust eclipse happens, so good luck to you. Hopefully, your amazing plan to prevent me from fungal blooming that is gonna work, but I kinda doubt it. We're gonna fungal bloom that as well. Still neutral. No, we're going to lose somebody in one turn unless we add a pop or two. There. Okay. That's hilarious to me, though. They're like, we're going to get you now. We're going to get rid of your fungal bloom. And I'm like, uh, bro, I got five of them going. Congratulations. You killed one. Four more will spring up in its place. If you cut off one fungal bloom, four more shall rise in its place. Uh, anyways, I should stop screwing around, though, and we should kill Chaka. Because the episode is technically supposed to be over, which means I'm over time right now. But I don't care, because I want to kill Chaka. That was our goal for this episode, and we're going to do it, guys. We're going to get that Chaka. You go right here. You go right there. And you guys need to stay within range to hit Chaka, but not within a line to be hit by Chaka. So just about right there should do perfectly. Uh, and that'll be just fine. Yeah. Everybody beat Chaka down. Hopefully he's damaged enough that we can actually kill him this time, because he may not be, honestly. Hit him hard. Hit him hard, guys. Come on. Put that damage in. The nice thing is, they should be debuffing his damage every time they hit him, but I don't know if that actually works on the Urkins. Winter Enervation. What does that mean? I don't know what Winter Enervation means. I don't know if he actually gets stronger during the winter. Oh, no, no. They get much weaker during the winter. Oh, that's awesome. Get him, guys. Get him. Kill that thing. Man, this would be so much better if we had the plus 20% damage on our uh, general. I honestly think, having done this both ways now, that you're better off turning your first hero into a military general. Wow, he just wrecked them. We could see a full army wipe here at this point. I didn't think that we were at risk for that, but I could be entirely wrong, I guess. Although I'm honestly sure, I'm not sure he can hit them where they're at right now. Like, they might actually be off his given path. Nope. Nope. Wow. No, they are not off his path. He just wrecked them. Okay, so, as you can see, Chaka has a ton of health, and without the damage boost on our hero, we're actually having a really hard time breaking through all of it. That could be vastly improved by potentially moving this up in the queue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's get larger armies. We can come finish that later. Doop, doop, doop. 
Okay, so we are gonna have to build out some more armies. I'm sorry guys, we tried really hard to get Chaka this time, but it didn't work out. We'll get him next episode. He is completely wounded. He has no lice left. All we have to do is send guys over to finish him off. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed recording it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button down at the bottom. If you want to see more, click subscribe and make sure to tick that bell notification because otherwise YouTube will decide that you didn't know what you were doing when you click the subscribe button and tell you nothing when the next video goes live. 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 Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye!